Hi everybody, it's Christina. Um, today I'm going to be making a sign using um, this wood blank that I got from Dollar Tree. I got a couple little things here. But the first thing that I'm going to do is I have this family sign here. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to paint the family sign. I think I'm going to do um, my white chalk paint. So I'm going to get this opened up and get a little bit of paint on here. Now this is probably going to take a little bit to paint because I'm going to have to go on the inside of the letters. That's why I have a smaller brush here. So I'm just going to take my white paint and I'm going to do the whole top part and all the sides. Obviously not the back because this is going to get attached to my sign. Okay, I have the family painted and I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sign here and these little flower pots that I have. And I don't know about the butterfly yet. We'll see about that one. But I'm going to take my elephant gray chalk paint that I have. And let me find a little brush here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to paint the outside of this, the elephant gray. So I'm just going to put a little coat. Let's see, am I on camera? Okay, I am. Just on the outside here. I'm not going to worry about getting the inside of it. I'm just going to put a light coat on the outside. And then I'm also going to take my little flower pots and I'm going to paint those the elephant gray also. Okay. I am, I think I decided um, I'm going to do the butterfly with my white chalk paint. So I'm just going to try to put like a really thin coat on here because I don't want it to go inside all the little holes and stuff. Okay, um, I have this all painted, but what I want to do is I just want to, I have my paintbrush here. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I wanted to kind of dry brush the pots a little bit with the white chalk paint. So I'm just taking whatever is left on my wet brush. So it's technically, I guess, not a dry brush, but I'm just kind of going over it and just dry brushing a little bit on the, the pots just to make them stand out a little bit more for when I put them on my sign. Okay, I have my little pots all dry brushed. Now, um, I don't remember if I told you this, but those pots I actually got from Dollar Tree in the garden section. I thought those were super cute. I had to find something to do with them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I'm taking my elephant gray, whatever's left of my brush here, and I'm just going to put a little bit of the elephant gray on here. Just kind of distressing, maybe kind of sticking closer to the edges, just to make it stand out a little bit so it's not quite so bright and white. Okay. So I kind of darkened it up a little bit and I'm going to tell you right now, I do not like it. It does not look good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little brush here and I'm going to very carefully paint this in. I think it's going to look a lot better if I, I'm just going to paint the top of it. I'm going to leave the rest of it white. So I'm just going to take my time and kind of go around and just do the front of this family in the elephant gray. Okay, so I changed my mind one more time. Um, I don't like the butterfly. It just doesn't stand out on the sign like I want it to. So I'm gonna take some of this metallic paint and I'm gonna put it on my butterfly. But I just wanted to show you my family real quick. I didn't take a lot of time. I mean, I did get gray on the outside, but I think that looks fine. And I didn't put like a super dark coat on there either. But I think the two-tone looks kind of nice. So I'm just going to take some of this shiny metallic paint by, I think it was Deco Art. Yeah, Deco Art. I got this at Joann's. And I'm going to put it on my butterfly just so it stands out a little bit more. I really love this metallic paint. I have used it on so many projects already. Okay, I have my hot glue gun all heated up. And I am ready to put this together. So my family is going to go on my sign. I'm thinking about here. And then these pots are going to go, I'm thinking maybe just a little off the side. So I'm thinking like right around here. 
I can get him to stay still so I can measure up where my family is going to go. I don't know why, but it just looks crooked when I, when I make it even. These, this one side must be longer than that one. All right, I am just going to go for it. I'm going to stick some hot glue on the back of here, and then I'm going to stick it down. And hopefully I get it stuck decent. There's no guarantee. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Then, my little butterfly here, I'm going to stick, I think, eh, maybe just right in the middle like that. I was going to put it kind of off to the side, but I think it's going to look best if I just go ahead and stick it right in the middle. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to get my little flower pots ready here. Um, I bought these little flowers from Dollar Tree and I plan on sticking these inside the pots. So let me see what I'm going to do here. Um, everything here I believe, yeah, everything I got from Dollar Tree for this project. So the only thing I didn't was the paint. Got to make sure that I don't make them too bushy. I think that might be good right there. So I'm going to get my flowers arranged. How I think I'm going to want them. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick some hot glue in here. Just kind of fill it up a little bit. So I'm going to hold my flowers in here kind of hold them up until this hot glue dries so this is probably going to take a little bit okay that is pretty much dry in there so now i'm going to take some spanish moss and i'm going to try to stick it in here i know this is really tiny but i'm going to try to stick a little bit of spanish moss in the pot going around i don't think i'm going to use any hot glue because i just don't think that i'm going to be able to get that in there to hold it in. It's just going to have to kind of get jammed down into the pot. Oh, maybe it looks better without it. I'm thinking it looks better without it. You know what? Second thought, take that out of there. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Then there's just one last thing that I'm going to do, and that's going to be to attach this to my sign. So um, I'm going to leave this original hook on here so I can hang it, but then also if I want to, it can just be a shelf sitter. So um, that's why I'm not putting any, I'm not going to put any beads or anything on there. I'm just going to leave it like that because I have a feeling it's going to end up sitting on my mantle of my fireplace. All right, so then I'm going to take my flowers here. And I'm just going to stick the hot glue, let's see, right there. And I'm going to stick my pot down right on my sign. I just love these little flower pots. They're so cute. I still have four really small ones yet that I got. So i am got to think of something to use those with. I just love those. Okay, and then, let's see. I think I want it this way. Let's coat that. Kind of try to somewhat line it up with that one over there. All right, and I think that's going to be it for this sign. There it is, my little family sign. I think it turned out pretty cute. I love the flower pots on the end. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'd love it if you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload and take care. Thank you. Bye.